What's going on my dudes, One Step here, going over the Street Fighter 6. How often do I fight these characters online tier list and ranking them from I fight them all the time all the way to I never fight them. Take it one step at a time. First and foremost, my dudes, if you enjoy this kind of content and you want more of it, make sure to subscribe here because we have new videos Monday and Friday. Who doesn't want more content? Secondly, keep in mind, this is exclusively my experience with these characters. You might not agree with some people that I put in like, you know, I never fight them or like whatever. I have over 100 hours in the game. I just made platinum rank in Street Fighter 6. So I feel like the experience I have is pretty good and vast enough to the point where I have a valid opinion in my experience on these characters. So let's get right into it. First, we have Ryu. Honestly, I actually fight, I wouldn't say all the time, but I would say, I, it's funny because now that I'm thinking about it, it's not even like quite often, it's just often. I, I fight Ryu's pretty often. He's just a base character. And even in, you know, high golds, low platinums, I still fight him here and there. Uh, and honestly, same with, Lu no, you know what, Luke's, even though a lot of pro players put Luke, like he's top five characters ever. I I mean, I fight him. I'm not, I'm not gonna say never, cause I do fight Luke's, but honestly, not very often. He's gonna be our first character to go in the not very often slot here. As I've been going up in the ranks from gold four, gold five, platinum and so on, I've actually been fighting more and more Jamie's, which is funny enough, cause a lot of the pros put Jamie in like bottom three or four. So it's funny that the higher I go, the more I fight. So I'm gonna put Jamie in often. He's not like super often. Like I, I wouldn't put him quite often, but I do fight him more than Luke's funny enough. Cause he's like, you know, bottom tier when Luke is supposedly top tier at this point of recording. Uh, Chun-Li, honestly, I never fight Chun-Li's. I just don't, I never really fight chun Li. I can't remember the last time that I faced a Chun-Li online. And for the record, this includes battle hub, casual matches, ranked matches, my own personal lobbies that I host with my subscribers and fans. I don't ever fight Chun-Li. She's the first character to go down the very bottom, which is funny because she's like a staple character in the Street Fighter franchise. She's like, not necessarily the face, but she's probably the female face of Street Fighter, I would say that, uh, you know, or Cammy. Maybe jury, I guess, but still, she's one of those characters that you're like, yeah, it's, I'm surprised that I never fight them, you know? I used to fight a lot more Guiles back when I was like lower gold, and now that I'm going up here and there, I'm actually seeing a lot less Guiles. He's is not very often. When I fight him, I'm like, oh, whoa, weird, a Guile, interesting, okay. Kimberly's also gonna be often, not super often, but I do fight Kimberly's probably more than Luke's and Giles and so on. And I, I really enjoy Kimberly. She's a great character. She's so much fun. And I actually really enjoy fighting her as well, but it's not, I mean, it is often, but it's not like that often. I want to put Jury at all the time, but there are other characters I fight more often. I'm going to put her as a very first quite often. I, I literally, I fight Jury's definitely quite often. Like I would, yeah, it's almost all the time, almost all the time, but not quite there. There's a lot of Jury plays out there. I, I really enjoy Jury, even in the beta I played the crap out of her she's a lot of fun uh turns out i enjoyed Manon a lot better but but i respect the jury mains she, she's she's a lot of fun all right ken is all the time i fight so many goddamn kens ken ken is probably ken is probably the most played character that i fight online in my experience i i just fight him so much it's it's, it's kind of it's kind of ridiculous I, i'm whenever i see a ken i'm like oh my god another another ken there's times where i've fought three, four cans in a row. And I get it, he's great. He's got a great toolkit, a lot of fun stuff going on, a projectile, great anti-air, all these fun stuff. So I get it, but God damn. All right, Blanca. Um, honestly, Blanca used to be, I never fought them until recently. I've been picking up more and more Blancas lately. Not not a lot, so not, not very often. He used to be never, but I've been fighting him more and more. You know who is never though? Dalsim, I literally think. I never fight Dalsim. I think I have faced a single Dalsim, I, I, a single one in my time playing ranked. I Even in low gold, I never fought Dalsim ever. And then I think going on to like gold five low plats, I think I fought one of them, which is interesting because Dalsim is one of the hardest zoners in the game aside from JP. So I feel like with that being said, a lot more people would have picked him up and played him, but but they're just not, man. I don't know what it is about Dalsim, but people do not want to play him. E Honda has actually turned into an often character. It's funny because I really like E Honda and I, I wish I could play him better than I do, but to see him as often as I do is really cool. I'm like, oh yes, I love E Honda. And his, his toolkit's really fun to look at and really fun to face as the opponent but uh man it's just it's just it's just often it's not even like quite often but i i wouldn't say you know not very often dj i like dj and i'm trying to think i'm not quite sure where to put dj because there are times where i'll face quite a few djs 
And then there's times where I fight like none of them in a whole like day or two span. I'm honestly gonna put DJ in the often. He's just a all around here and there kind of character that it's not that you never see. It's not that you see them all the time. They're just like, you're not surprised when you fight a JP. You're like, oh, or DJ, you're like, you know what? I, yeah, I, I feel this. Mm, I feel like Manon's hovering somewhere between quite often and often. I'm a Manon main myself. So this is going off like my mirror match experience. I am going to say not as often as jury, but I will say often enough where I think it is quite often. For the record, I've been wanting to play Manon since the gameplay for her dropped. Manon main since day one. Marissa goes all the goddamn time. Marissa is so often. I would almost put her above Ken, but I think I could fight Ken just a bit more often. But man, if it's not Ken, it is definitely Marissa. You know, the higher I go in rank, I'm actually fighting JPs a lot more. I really, I really, he used to be not very often. And I think it's because his skill ceiling is a bit higher than most characters. Like it just takes a bit more practice to get the hang of him and be good with him. So you're not gonna see him a lot in like the lower ranks. So that might be why I'm seeing him more often as I climb the ranks as i'm just seeing a lot more jp so he's he's quite often for sure zangief i do fight zangiefs I, I really do it's it's not very common i'm gonna say not very often but I, it's not never i do fight geefs and when i do i'm like okay this is like it's it's it's, it's an okay fight i'm not like mad about it but but it's not as often as i was thinking i was gonna see geef lily man i i'm very intrigued she's never i never fight lilies which is so funny because out of all the new characters introduced to street fighter 6 she's the only new character that i never fight like in my experience look at this so far we have jamie we have kimberly we have manon jp marissa all above often or higher and lily skips not very often goes to the very bottom of i never fight it was just so crazy i i thought i would fight a lot more lilies and i just never see it so if you're a lily main let me know down below in fact everyone let me know who your main is down below in street fighter 6 like where are they at on this list so far and what has your experience been like with your own main online and i think cammy is going to be our last character to go in often she's another one of those characters where like you see him here and there it's not never often it's not all the time it's just like oh yeah there's just a cammy player i feel like that's how all the often characters are it's like you're not surprised to see them but you're not like you know super stoked to fight them either like, oh yeah i fight them here and there and then to fight the characters like luke gaia blanca and give you're like oh someone's actually playing the characters and when you fight the bottom three here chun li dalsim and lily you're like whoa 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 i never fight these characters what's going on and when you fight jury manon and jp you're like oh yep here we go again and fighting ken and marissa you're like every fucking time <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just how it is, man. Is this list accurate at all in your experience playing online Street Fighter 6? Let me know down below what your thoughts are, who your main is. If you enjoy Street Fighter content, make sure to subscribe here for more. Turn that bell on so you know when we upload and when we go live. In your fighting game journey, take it one step at a time, and I will see you in the next one.